Welcome to the Hunter Report. This is the Loom Cube and these are gels. When I'm in the studio or somewhere where time is not of the essence, I typically take gaff tape and I tape the gels onto the Loom Cube. Now Loom Cube sells its own gel packs. The thing is that I have hundreds of colors of gels. I was able to get this pack on Amazon.com for $2.99. And look at this, I get literally hundreds of colors. So I really want a DIY solution. So gaff tape and Loom Cube normally but I have a certain scenario where speed is of the essence. So what I'm gonna show you is a little DIY kind of build so that I can make my own rapid fire loom cube like system for gels. And basically it involves cardboard and I found that this US postal box is the perfect size. Look at this, it, the loom cube fits right in here. The goal is to take a gel like this do it like so and then be able to rapidly drop it in and then take it out and go with another gel rapidly and this prevents all kinds of things like light leaks which is an issue for me and is the reason that i'm doing this build so let's get started so i'm gonna do a rough cut all right so this is my rough cut stencil and now the idea is to fold up four flaps so let's do a finer grain cut. We've got the fold this way already. Fold it down that way to sort of let me know where to cut. Fold it down that way. And we can make those two cuts right now. All right, so I've got my two cuts that way. Looking good. This, uh, this will be handheld, so it doesn't really matter for my purpose that I'm gonna lose access to the tripod mount. But I do normally do tripods for the loom cubes when I'm in studio or when I'm doing another use case. Anyway, I'm gonna just mark this off so that its center point is basically preserved. A general eyeball. Now we're gonna go and do the opposite side folds. So I'm gonna make this cut first. Boom. Now we're gonna do that. Whoops. All right, so I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just eyeballing it because that fold did not work perfectly. All right, so here we are here. It's, per it's basically perfectly cut, but now we have a problem. This flap right here needs to go so that this flap can, can come up here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna do that for all four sides. Cutting along the line there. So we can see on our first side, it's gonna go there and then we're just gonna tape. See like that, we're gonna tape it. So let's do, do the other sides. Every side I cut, I do a test fold just to make sure that I'm more or less on the money. Now, while I do have a roll of gaff tape right here, gaff tape is definitely not the right tape for taping onto cardboard. Now, keep in mind that this, this unit tends to get hot I don't think it's gonna be hot enough to melt paper. Also, I'm doing this in the winter time. The one benefit of the Loom Cube Lighthouse is that it's made out of metal. Anyway, it's the winter time, so it doesn't matter. If you're doing this indoors or in the summertime, the paper may lightly and slowly burn because um, these babies do get hot, but not beyond Fahrenheit 415, I believe. I've got a preliminary taping. I might tape it again, but now onto the next phase so this is going to be the back okay so the light here's the front part of the light and the front part of the light is going to go down in there okay and i'm just going to hold it so now we need to cut an opening here if i cut it too large it'll fall through and it will lose structural integrity and if we look the actual loom cube comes in a bit so i'm just going to eyeball this i'm going to switch to a pencil so i can get a finer finer grain so basically i have this much space so I'm gonna say about right there. And again, just eyeballing it. Looks to be perfectly on that. See, there's my pencil mark there. And the other pencil mark is right here in the red line. And then we're just gonna complete that into a square. Okay, and now I'm gonna just sort of eyeball it. So now we have a basic square shape here, leaving a good amount of room on all four sides to provide maximal structural integrity. Let's get a little finer grains with an X-Acto knife and very carefully. And I'm just sort of, I'm not pushing. I want to let the knife 
fall through the surface. Because if you force it, it will lose structural integrity. There we have it. All right, let's give it a test drop. Perfect. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect on that side, but basically all of the light is showing and it seems to have enough structural integrity. It seems very integral. So let's give it, let's test out my hypothesis now. So you sort of just do this with the gel. Gel is on and then you just place it in here. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. And then pop it out, put the blue gel on, pop it in, boom. So this prevents the issue of light leaking. Plus, when I was holding the gel with my hands, the it would slip and like light would leak out. So this provides me just another, it, it's, it's totally the right tool for the job. Let's go ahead and add one extra layer of reinforcement. So there you have it, perfectly reinforced loom cube lighthouse where, and I call it the rapid fire edition so that I can take a blue gel like this, pop it in and I'm ready to go. Hands free, look at that. Woo! If you want to get one of these Yume Cubes, go ahead and check the description below. And why don't you please subscribe and give me thumbs up because I need all the help that I can get.